Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to use the program Discord for doing, well, basic usage, and but mainly targeted at to, uh, office hours for an academic setting. So I have my office hours, and I'm asking my TAs to have office hours using Discord, because the students often know how to use it uh, initially. It's a free tool, and you can kind of set up your own virtual servers. Um, so I'll generally have created a server and then be telling my TAs how to join to it. So you'll be given a link, and I've got a copy of it here, um, something like this link here. Um, when you launch Discord, after you've installed it, I'm doing this under Windows. It'll look the same elsewhere, I suspect. Um, on the left-hand side, this is the list of the different servers I can be connected to. You can have pretty much any number of servers around. Um, so I'll say here I want to add, and I'm going to not, I can create my own one if I wanted to for free. I'm just going to join a new one, or join this one. I'll copy and paste the link in and say join, and anyone with that link can get into the server. Um, this chat, so a couple things we've got here. Um, the, all the different channels are shown here for this particular server. Um, there's a chat channel, which anything I now type in will go to everybody that's on the server. Currently, well, we're logged in as this here to do video. Uh, on my other real account is the Brian Fraser that's logged in here. So everything I do on this machine is going to come up on this. Um, and then what do I want to do? Well, I could just type in something like, you know, hello, I'm here for office hours. And this is how my conversations might begin. Um, someone might then, I'll go on my other machine here and just type it in. I might say, uh, please talk to me. We can see the message. Uh, so the first thing you'll want to do is start talking. Uh, if you want to just message them with text, you can right click and say, uh, message. And then as you start typing, you know, what can I help you with? Uh, you know, something like, and then they'll be able to switch to this private chat. This is a private chat just between you and that person and Discord, so <laughs> careful what you say. Um, you know, help me with assignment. And as the person types, you can see at the bottom that they are typing. Um, you may then decide, well, I'd really like to have a video call with them. If you want to do screen sharing, this is one of the things you might have to do. So I'll do a voice call. I'll click on this. And on their machine, it'll then start to ask, hey, do you want to join the call? They'll click yes. Uh, now, as it turns out, they were already sharing uh, the screen, and maybe they'll want to be kind of showing you what's going on. And so here, they've got the code up, and as they type, you can see exactly what's on their screen for this application. You know, void main, and who knows what. So this is a great way to do kind of uh, helping them with their code and seeing what's going on. Um, now, to get to this point, you'll also have wanted to set up your voice. So let's go back to that now. I'm going to uh, cancel screen share on this point. You can see here that the green icons around people's, like um, the green circles around someone's icon tells them if they're talking or what's going on. So often you'll get on a call with somebody and they will be muted, as you can see here, this little red mute symbol. Um, so you can say, hey, you might talk and say, I'm, I see that your mic is muted with Discord. And so then they'll click on that. And then if there's no activity from it, let me see if I can silence the mic on my other machine. I don't think I can. Um, if there's no activity on that, the green circle goes away. And you might say something like, if you're trying to talk, your mic isn't picking you up or Discord isn't picking you up. So let's look at some of those settings now. Um, one thing I should mention is there's a couple ways to get out of the call. Um, you can click on the big red circle here or down here is another great way to get out of the call. And we'll get rid of that. Um, for the settings, under user settings, from click to the bottom. Uh, the thing you're going to want most is probably this video and voice. And then you can specify what is the input and output you want to set up. Uh, you can do let's check the sound. It'll kind of play back your voice to yourself so you can make sure that your audio levels are fine. Um, we're not playing a game, so you don't probably need a push to talk. Um, and then you can check your video. So that's all a great thing to do ahead of time, just so you know what you're doing and have it well set up. Um, Okay, so if you wanted to share your screen, let's go back in that call. I'm going to join the call. If you wanted to share your screen, it's a good idea to have some experience with this so you can walk students through it. I'll say share screen. And then you can either share the entire kind of window, or pardon me, entire um, screen, or a particular window in it. And so I'll share this one here, my notepad. And I'll click on share. And I'm not actually going to do much with that now because it turns out that uh, running this through a VM is terrible. Uh, so that's how you could share that. 
and I'll go back to ending the call. Now, a couple of the kind of intricacies with Discord. Um, one is you've got a kind of a number of things here. So you've got this home. Home is where you can see the list of current conversations you've got, as well as any friends that you've added directly. So here I've got this conversation going on with, well, my other account. Um, I can close that, I get rid of that, and it sort of just takes it off the list here. Uh, you might want to do this at the end of every office hour, for example. If I go back into the server, this shows me all the channels. If I wanted to talk to a number of students at once, I can jump into the, the voice channel here. Note that I'm in the same general channel as before, so anything I type is not private. Uh, you might be talking to a couple students and want to give them some, some advice. Anything typed is not private. Anything you say, anybody else can just jump into the channel at any point. Uh, let me jump into that channel on my other machine, and then you'll just see what it looks like when someone joins the channel. So now you can see who's in the channel with you. If you want to get out of this voice channel, you can click the disconnect button down here. Uh, Discord currently has, I think, a limit of 25 active people in a single voice channel at once. So that's kind of navigating your way around this is an important way to figure out, you know, kind of who am I going to talk to and coming back to. It says down here who you're going to type a message to. Um, so very often what I'll do is I'll say something like, you know, who wants office help? Uh, somebody wants help, so I'll say, okay, do you want to call or text? They might say call, so I'll click on call. And then I wait until they figure out what to click on. They click on the join call button, and now we can have our conversation. When I'm done, I hang up. I often forget to go back, <laughs> but I need to now go back to my previous demo channel, my uh, the server, and this will be where all the other users are logged in and can sort of look at who else is looking to uh, talk to me. Um, yeah, so I think that's about the biggest thing is I often type in the wrong spot. Um, if you wanted to have a conversation with more than one student, um, you can either go into this general channel for vid, uh, voice, but if they want to share a video and they want to do a screen share, I believe that they need to then go into, oh, actually you can screen, share screen here, that's true. If they wanted to do something that was private, then they would have to do it through a call. The challenge is you can't call people who aren't friends. So you can just tell them, uh, if you're talking to, in a conversation with somebody and say, oh, I want to bring my group member in, you want to have a three-person call with a private call, you all need to be friends. So in there, let's just go and sort of set that up. Uh, so I'm going to disconnect from this general channel. I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to call, accept the call. I'm in. OK. Um, if I wanted to make them friends, I can right-click on them and then say send a friend invite or uh, add to friends. They then have it come up for them. And generally what I'll often do is I'll tell, I'll sort of show it both ways here. I'll often tell them to add me as a friend, and then that way I'm not the one trying to manage it all. So I'll accept that. And if we go to friends here, we can see who I'm now friends with. After I've been a friend with them for a bit, I'll probably want to remove friends so that I don't end up plugging up my system and they can't call me when I'm offline. Um, now, what they'll often do is, if I'm back in the call here with somebody, and they're going to then add me as a friend so that they can then invite their group mate. Um, let me just do that here. Uh, add friend. Nothing big comes up other than the little notification on the left. I can click on that, friends, and under pending, I then have to click the accept button. And at this point, when I go back into this conversation, they may have upgraded this call to another group call. It'll kind of automatically hang up. Uh, one thing that I often forget to do is, if I go back from, I'm in a call at the moment, and I go back to the uh, server here, I might say, oh, let's talk to somebody else. And I'll right click on them, and then I might say call or something like that. Um, I often forget to do that here. So I end up having to kind of call them twice or kind of accept the call twice. So if you're on a call and you try to call someone else, it basically just disconnects you from the first call and doesn't necessarily connect you straight into the second. Uh, okay, so that's all I wanted to show for using Discord. Uh, have fun and good luck.